Hey YouTube, uh, I'm on my way home. I'm gonna do my picks. Just thought I'd do something a little different this time. I'm gonna do a little uh, follow cam, which I'll edit in my video here. Just walking out to my car and trying something different. Why not? You, you like my new shades? Uh, the Detroit Lions are pretty cool. I wore them at that Terminator uh, video last week. Uh, let's see. Just walked out, watched the Monday night boring game. Ah, nice train to have every time you do outside, uh, you know, footage. Uh, the, the highlights of the Miami Jets game Monday night here. Uh, let's see, five made field goals, three missed field goals. Tannehill couldn't find a receiver in the end zone to save his life. <laughs> Uh, I gotta love that train. So, I, like I said, the time I do these videos, it's late at night. And just want to get home and go to sleep. <laughs> and after watching a boring Monday night game, it just makes me want to go to bed even earlier. So, I, uh, I'm getting ready to get in my car here. So, I will see you in a few. All right, just arrived at home and in the house, got my picks in hand. I took over a few numbers here uh, before I get started. Uh, but I'm just gonna sit down, make myself comfortable. <sighs> you know, one thing when I see people record with their cell phones, I see, uh, you know, they, they put it lengthwise, you know, not, not horizontally. It, it just makes no sense. It's widescreen. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm just gonna uh, turn this off and then uh, start my production here. And, you know, like I gotta be quiet because the kids are still sleeping. Everybody's sleeping but me. Uh, it's a hard day at work too. So all right, let me look over a few things and I'll get my uh, video started. Thanks. All right. Hope that all right came out all right. I'm here on behalf of the greatest prognosticator ever. Thanks for everything. Thank you for these great awards and all the money. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If it wasn't for my channel, I could not be here today. I have a dream. A dream. A dream. Thank you for coming to Half Moon's Picks. This is Steve, and welcome back once again. What a horrible Monday night football game that was. And I had picked them in my picks by four and a half, and they won by three on that horrible, horrible thing. So my dream is paying out better than what I'm actually predicting is I came out one and three. <laughs> so let me run over those real quick. Here's my stat sheet on how I'm doing for the year. Still over 500. Uh, so hopefully I'll pick up some better picks this week. Uh, see, I told you to pick Miami. They won, didn't cover, obviously. I told you to pick Cincinnati. They won, didn't cover. Two teams that just decided to show up and still won because they're playing crappy teams and say, hey, why should I pay full force when I can just, you know, lay down the ball and still win? Uh, then I picked, told you to pick Denver. You know, they won easily. And Cleveland was my upset pick. Uh, and they didn't show up either. Uh, Buffalo just ran right over them. So let's get started on week 14.
For my upset pick of the week, my fourth pick of the week, I got Kansas City as an underdog, one and a half points at Arizona. Uh, Arizona, you know, Carson Palmer's injured. Uh, they got their backs back up for the rest of the remainder of the year. Uh, and they actually lost uh, uh, Seattle. And then again to Atlanta. Here Kansas City is. They lost their last two games uh, against Oakland, uh, last place in their division, and their first place in their division, Denver, last week. Uh, I think uh, they want to stay in the race. Uh, San Diego had won. Uh, they need to stay at pace with them, with San Diego keeping uh, wild card contention, and they're still in that race. So Arizona's already one game ahead of Seattle, and not doing so well, lost their last two. So I'm, I'm picking Kansas City in an upset to beat Arizona in Arizona. My number three pick of the week is Tampa Bay at Detroit. Now there's not any two teams in the NFL that I don't know more about since I live in Tampa and I'm a big Detroit fan. I'm from that area. I grew up in that area. I grew up a big Detroit Lions fan. Went to many games. Detroit usually wins against Tampa. Easily. And they've came down here twice since I've been down here and I've, I've seen them and they beat them both times. Now, last year Tampa did go to uh, Detroit and beat them barely at the end of the game. Uh, the Jim Schwartz era, the downfall. One thing Detroit does not forget is who beat them <laughs> the year before. Uh, you should take precedence like uh, that uh, Giants game the first week of the season. Detroit just trounced on them. There's three teams that, that knocked us out of the playoffs. It was the Giants, the Bucks, and the Ravens. Here they get their revenge again. They did it last year. Um, you know, uh, they beat us last year, but Again, Detroit should easily win this. Uh, like uh, Tampa Bay, the Bruins right now. Mark uh, Lovey Smith has just had so many uh, excuses. You can almost predict what he's going to say. Um, Detroit just on a roll, and actually, Detroit skewed away after the first quarter of last week's game against Chicago from the run first opens a pass to pass first opens a run and they just trounce on Chicago. Well, I'm hoping that they do. They keep with that scheme again this week. Uh, they'll be pretty much unstoppable. I know it's a nine and a half point spread, so go ahead, lay those points. Take Detroit, minus nine and a half. My number two pick of the week, I got the Jets traveling to Minnesota. Minnesota, one of the top 10 ranked defenses. Uh, they, they, they trounced on Carolina, mostly because of special teams, but they held Carolina to almost zero uh, offense whatsoever. And, and they're just this much better than the Jets. Uh, uh, Jets uh, run first, the offense, pass never offense, um, and uh, Minnesota's got a great front four, can easily stop the run and the pass. Um, now, the only thing I worry about is the Jets' defense against Minnesota's offense. Uh, it's a five and a half point spread. Minnesota's been opening it up lately. I'm going to lay those five and a half points and take Minnesota. And my number one game of the week, probably the best game of the week, I got Seattle traveling to Philadelphia. Philadelphia, a one point favorite. They're at home. I think. People are, are putting Seattle at a much higher pedestal than they actually are. I, like I said, they just like to run the, the ball. Philadelphia's getting better on defense, and, and they just looks like they've been unstoppable. At first, I was skeptic. I'm not a big uh, Sanchez fan and a butt fumble, uh, but uh, they look dang good, and they want to keep that top. They want uh, Dallas to come back up top. I know Seattle is still playing for that, that wild card spot, but I'm going Philadelphia at home. So take Philadelphia at home and lay the one point. Well, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. Once again, all the great prognosticators, links below. Please visit their sites, I do. And I, I take lots of notes, here they are. Uh, so I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed the video, peace.